Hey Pisces, it's Nicola. So we'll be doing this for the 13th of January through the 19th of January 2019. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? January the 13th through January the 19th, 2019. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Their partner's energy. The outcome of the situation. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. January the 13th through January the 19th, 2019. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mmm, Pisces, Four Wands. So this is about some plans. Someone's making plans. Four of Wands could be talking about a household situation. Mm, someone's finding the strength to do what? Inner strength within a household. Inner strength to go toward happiness. Wisdom. Mm. So you know someone's making a decision. Huh. Either someone's making a decision to whew, move toward a soulmate, toward a relationship. Pisces, you're aware of this. Either you're making a decision to move toward a relationship, toward something more traditional, or someone you're dealing with. This is the outcome here. But with what I have in here, the conflicts here, someone making judgment calls, I really believe someone's finding the strength to make plans to move forward. Um, they're not talking, high priestess. This is wisdom from within. Someone's going within themselves here. Six swords to move forward. Six of swords again. That's three swords. So someone's severing a connection. This is a heartbreak. This is heartache. Six and six is twelve. One and two is three. Three of swords. So this is a heartbreak. Someone's feeling betrayed. Someone may be betraying a relationship, tr betraying something traditional to go toward a soulmate. There's a decision here. Could be Taurus energy here. Scorpio energy here. Cancer. Gemini, hey, y'all hear that extra deep voice? That's my kid, man. <laughs> His voice, I don't know what happened. All right, so with this nine of wands here, this is about strength. Strength card being the underlying energy, under the underlying energy. Someone's found the strength within a relationship to go toward what makes them happy. Um, maybe very guarded within themselves trying to follow their intuition there may be things that are happening beyond the scenes decisions that are being made without being spoken here but ace of wands someone sees something from a new perspective and this is i'm gonna be real with you what i'm getting even though i believe if you're going within yourself um trying to find your power try to make a decision your partner may have already made a decision because I see two decisions made here, but your partner may speak on it and it may cause some type of conflict because it's being spoken. You, on the other hand, may kind of get this get off scot free because you're not actually, and I just saw 333. So you're not actually the one that is making the decision, but you're reaping the benefits because you're going to be able to move forward as well towards something that you want or you deem as traditional for yourself. So let's see what's going on here. So with wisdom here, this is the high priestess. This is some knowing someone knows, you know. You know someone's holding on to the past. You're going to put an end to it. Hierophant energy here. Relationship. Someone's holding on to a relationship. You know about a relationship. You know about. Some of y'all, this is a Taurus. Because I got it twice in here. So this can be a person that you're maybe um, either separating from, you're separating from a relationship. This is the, someone's deciding to transform a connection, balance their emotions, go within themselves. Yeah. So this is definitely someone making plans to go toward happiness, trying to find the strength to stand in their own two feet. King of Cups trying to extend their energy out to someone else. Why is the four of coins here? Hierophant's still on the bottom of there, so we could be talking about a Taurus. Some of y'all dealing with a Taurus. Or there's a Taurus that's in, involved into this situation. 
someone's very guarded needing to balance their emotions someone is someone's in conflict because they've been holding on to someone that they feel like is a true love whether and this is in secret so this is behind the scenes someone may have been in a situation or a relationship with you but still holding on to someone else feeling conflicted feeling defeated by this relationship so you know either you know someone that you've been dealing with is holding on to someone else and it's causing conflicts within the relationship or you yourself is holding on to someone else and you're feeling conflicted about moving away or staying and remedying this relationship why is judgment here mm. queen of wands making a decision to escape a situation and move in a new direction being clear about it so you're clear that you want to escape a situation escape the past six of cups here you know that you're dealing with a soulmate currently but you want to escape this situation here you see clearly that you want to move away seven of swords this is escaping queen of wands seven of swords or someone's making a decision to someone's making a decision to move forward someone's making the decision to move forward move in a new direction possibly with a new partner all right, so with the Ace of Swords here, I say Ace of Swords, seeing things from a new perspective, having um, brilliant new ideas, Ace of Swords to the Four of Swords, going with things yourself because you feel conflicted. That's Five Swords. You feel defeated. You don't want conflicts. Or going within yourself to balance out the conflicts, find the strength to really nurture yourself. So, so you make the decision here. To remove yourself from the past you may not be talking about it but your partner here is going within themselves they are talking about it they are talking about it nine of wands here finding the courage to nurture themselves but they're telling you they went within themselves they're coming to an alignment they're retreating from this situation because they understand what they feel and they are telling you or you're telling them that you you want to nurture yourself you want to make sure that you're okay but i believe this is your partner telling you again nine of wands twice someone speaking that they found the courage to retreat from a situation to move away from a situation um and that's causing conflict so either this is the person that you've been holding on to the secret secret love that you've been holding on to that has returned check and see if your brother out there because this could be a reunion um a reconciliation of, you know long time coming situation for ones for ones this can be someone telling you that they, they made a decision they've been holding on and they made a decision to move towards you um communication being made here an offer being made but conflicts the conflict is because someone needs to actually move away so five of swords not card queen of swords make the decision be clear someone's in conflict because you're not clear about what you're doing they want you to find the strength to speak truth to them so if this is a situation where someone's holding on it's because you're not clear that you're moving away okay kid where's my marker hey kid find my marker So someone needs to be clear. If you're, whether you're moving into a relationship or moving out of a relationship, you need to be clear. That's what it is. So someone here needs to find the strength to speak their truth. They're in conflict about the truth. Speak the truth. Make the decision. Someone is holding on because, they're holding on because they know you're coming back, I believe. But you're still not talking. Or, hey, come on now. Or, for some of you guys, Communication needs to happen. Commu I love you too, baby. Communication needs to happen. It's been good. <laughs> Y'all, my kid is ridiculous. He did that because he knows women that be watching here. He's trying to get some, some cool points. So what I'm saying is someone has been secretly holding on, waiting for a return. Someone may communicate that they're in conflict they're moving forward, but they need to find the strength to speak that. The strength to speak. Uh, I'm not going to name it that. We're going to wait a minute. We're going to wait a minute. Because there's still conflict here. Now, 
this is two people moving toward a relationship. I'm, I'm going to tell you that. I do see a union happening. I do see a reconciliation here. Um, after something is spoken. And if it, I'm not sure if this reconciliation is, because like I told you, so I'm picking up two different energies. Yeah, King of Pentacles judgment. So this can be a reconciliation here. Hmm. King of Pentacles making a decision to move forward. Nope, nope, nope. All right, so this is two different energies. This is two different relationships. Either you've got a secret relationship that you've been holding on to and someone's being clear about them finding the strength to get out of conflict. Um, whether this person that's getting out of conflict is a person that's coming near you or is the person that's setting up boundaries to you. I believe this, yeah, Ace of Swords. So this person is setting boundaries here. Someone knows that you're holding on to, okay, ah, someone knows, you know that the person you're dealing with is holding on to someone from the past. So you are speaking truth or being, finding the strength to speak your truth about how conflicted you are about this. With the Emperor card, you're setting boundaries to this situation, having the strength to set boundaries and make plans for something better. Okay, then. So you could have been dealing with someone that was holding on to you for whatever reason within your life. And now you're setting boundaries. Why is this nine of wands here? Having the strength to set boundaries. Why is this nine of wands here? Yep. 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 Nine of cups here. Concerns fading away about the situation. You're really, really concentrating on nurturing yourself. Concentrating on retreating from, again, going within yourself. You're, it's a lot of going within that's happening here. King of Wands really trying to focus on what it is that you want. Some of you guys are needing to not focus on the conflict. So within the situation. Yeah. Be careful about what energy you're putting in. With the Knight of Wands in the Chariot, this is about having the discipline to move forward. No doubt. But with that Knight of Wands, this can be kind of a sparky energy that you have because you're worried. So you may be needing, you may be conflicted about moving forward. You know you need to move forward because you understand the situation. Um, but you're very much holding on to yourself, I believe, um, or to the state that you have, like whatever you have within the situation. You may be holding on to that or your partner is holding on to that. They're in conflict about moving forward. But be careful when it comes to with the energy that you're putting into the situation six of swords you just need to detach from the drama don't feed into negativity set the boundaries that need to be set now if this is you i mean if this is your partner that's setting boundaries it's because they know you're holding on to somebody else but if you know that your partner is holding on to someone else they may be trying to get you to communicate with them you may not be talking to them um but you're kind of setting boundaries, having the strength to kind of get away from the conflicts. A decision is going to be made here. Lover's card could be dealing with the Gemini. Why is the lover's card here? Ten of Cups here. Emotional fulfillment. This is ooh, so made. Someone's worried about someone's burden, feeling oppressed by a relationship. Whew. Ten ten. So someone understands that they need to move forward sagittarius energy here someone understands that they need to move that they need to move forward in order they may, they need to move away from a partnership in order to go to the relationship so if there's a relationship that is budding here someone needs to make a decision needs to balance their emotions so that they can move forward 10 10 is an end someone's moving forward detaching from a a burdened relationship a toxic relationship okay someone's Someone's still holding on to that now. Having a lot of anxiety, but making a decision to move forward. Six of Swords, all, all, a lot of these are decisions that are made but not implemented because they're just thought about right now. Nine of Swords, very much in your head. Wanting to go towards something new, but feeling as if you have a responsibility to the situation. You need to find the strength. You're allowing your thoughts are the... You're allowing your thoughts to control your movement. You need to set your boundaries and you need to move forward because you don't want to continue to be burdened by this toxic relationship. Some of you guys are dealing with a toxic relationship. You need to set boundaries and move forward. Some of you guys are moving toward a relationship, but after some conflict, maybe someone that you've held on to is going through conflict. They have to get over the conflict before there can be a movement forward. With tradition here, it could be dealing with the Taurus. We've seen that a lot earlier. What's going on with this? Why is this tradition here? Why is it happening? 
So there's a, someone's moving into something more traditional. If you've been dealing with third parties here, I don't think so. I haven't seen it. But if you have been dealing with a third party or if you've been in a relationship and someone's been dealing with another person, dealing with a third party, this is the ending that is happening. The ending to the indecision, the ending to a relationship, a burdened relationship here. Someone losing their power. Someone feeling as if they lost their power because of their thoughts. But the movement, someone's reevaluating moving into a relationship. That is going to come to an end because the end result is the hierophant. So a relationship is going to be starting whether you're the one starting it or the person that is leaving is starting it. And I know that sounds bad for me to say, but I know what I see. It's, it's that hopefully it doesn't resonate if you don't, you know, if you're going through this. But that's what I see someone's making plans finding the strength to make some plans so let's pull from the power of love i need you to put back on your clothes let's pull from the power of love messages that we have pisces sun moon rising and venus the messages that we have for pisces sun moon rising and venus i'm doing a video pisces sun moon rising and venus we got willingness. It says you're able to compromise if the end result is love. So this is the underlying energy of what led you here because you've been compromising. You've been so willing to compromise. You've been so tolerant. Now it's time for you to have gratitude in what's happening for you. Whether this is you moving into a new situation, some of you guys having the will to move toward a new situation or the will to not be tolerant just because you're um, sensing love but to have gratitude with the decisions or the choices or the position you are in at life. This is about just being happy within your present moment. I think that's what you're moving toward. So what messages? Set the boundaries and have gratitude for where you are. What messages do we have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Messages for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. What messages do we have for Pisces? So you got honeymoon here. It says, enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. Some of you guys, there's an energetic retreat from someone from the past. You're extending your energy to others or someone else's. It's either you or your partner. If there is an extension here with extend your lighthearted energy to others. Retreat and honeymoon. Someone's retreating from a, a relationship, a situation, a marriage, or whatever it is. And they're extending their energy to someone else. That's all I got. Peace.